Welcome to the tip channel. That is perfection. Today we're going to take a look at diagnosing a vacuum leak on this 1996 BMW Z3. Now, you'll see in a few minutes, there's a lot of vacuum lines that run underneath of the intake. They're a very difficult area to get to. And hey, I'm getting old and I thought to myself, I just need to hear better. So I went on Amazon and they had this product and it's basically referred to as a stethoscope. So that's what a doctor uses, right? That's gonna help me uh, hear better. So I'll grab one of these. So 50 bucks down the drain, no, nope, it didn't work. I couldn't find the leak. So I thought to myself, hey, I've got a fog machine from Halloween I could hook up something did and blow some smoke into the engine. That might work. Or perhaps I could use a bicycle pump, pump some smoke into the engine. That might work. So I did a little research and went on the Harbor Freight and I found this. So basically what this is, this is a multi-use transfer pump. So what this has, it has an intake hose and it has an outtake hose. So what we're gonna do I'm gonna hook up a cigar to the one end and I'm gonna pump smoke right into the engine. So this device, $7.99, cigar cost me 69 cents. We're gonna give it a shot, see if it'll work. Okay, we have everything prepared. Believe it or not, a White House cigar fit perfectly into the end of the hose that came with the pump. So that end's taken care of. I got the other end into a uh, vacuum line. I uh, got some electrical tape around that just to sort of close it off a little bit better. And uh, we'll go ahead and fire up the cigar and see if it actually works. And just like magic, right there is our leak. I thought, ah, cracked hose. And in fact, all it was was a loose clamp. So five minute fix, tighten up the clamp, and we are done. Okay, so we have found our leak. Now, this is the tip channel. So what would it be if I didn't give you any tips? A couple of little tips. Number one is I first took the White Owl cigar, put it directly into the uh, rubber tube. Uh, this pump actually has enough power that it sucked it right inside of the tube. So I figured out very quickly, leave the plastic tip on the White Owl cigar, that fits even tighter into there and it won't suck inside the tube. Second thing is that I hooked up the other end of the hose where my um, booster brake connects. So I got a real nice tight connection there. I took a plastic mixing cup and it fit very tightly into my throttle body. I've got that capped off. So this pump created a great amount of pressure on the inside of the engine so that we were able to detect the vacuum leak that we had very, very quickly. So Harbor Freight, eight box. Cigars, couple bucks. So for 10 bucks, we did a smoke vacuum leak on our car. If I would have took it to a garage, it would have been 150 bucks. If I would have bought a tool that I never would use again, uh, I'd had over 100 bucks in that. So very, very happy. The old girl's getting ready to go back out on the road. It's springtime in PA or almost another month, and we'll be able to start doing some cruising. So I hope that you found this informative. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.